Hello, beautiful people. Happy Friday or whatever day it is that you click on this video, right? Because we know videos just cycle on and on and on. Um, I just want you to think about this one thing. It doesn't matter what you say. It matters what you believe. Okay. It doesn't matter what you say. So people will tell you just be positive speak positively and all this stuff right and that stuff works you need to start speaking things as though they exist you need to act a certain way so that those things you know you're in that habit if you will but if you do not believe that it is possible if you don't believe that you are worthy if you do not believe that these different opportunities are for you you won't do the work necessary in order to achieve that thing that you said that you're going to do or the things that you want, all right? I don't want you to miss that. Yes, you need to speak over your life. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Yes, you need to visualize where you wanna be, how you wanna be there, how it's gonna feel when you hit those certain goals, whatever it is, right, whatever it is. You have to really be able to get into that mode. That's energy. Everything in this life, everything is energy. When you don't believe, that energy seeps out, right? And it just oozes out over everything in your life. That's why people will say, I don't believe you. Because they hear you say something, but they can feel your spirit. They can, fear that you, they can feel that you really don't mean it or you don't really believe it, right? So I want you to really think about that. We're in the second half of this year, all right? We are in July. We have six months left and it doesn't matter. I said all the time, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday, the day before, heck, it doesn't even matter what happened five minutes ago. What matters is what's going on right now and what you're gonna do, your decisions that you're gonna make moving forward. That's what matters. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Right now was the first moment of the rest of your life. What choices are you going to make? You have to believe that you are worth all things, right? I don't know about y'all, but um, I know that I was created in, in God's image. I know this to be true, right? And being one that is created in God's image, what that means is that um, all things are possible. All things are possible. I don't believe that God created us to suffer. I don't believe that God created us to, to be poor. I don't believe that um, you know, we were created to be depressed or stressed. I don't believe that. I believe that, you know, um this thing right here, the computer that is right here, is going to cause you to make some bad decisions going to cause you to believe some things that aren't true so you have to be the one that is in control of that mind and not allow the mind to control you unfortunately a lot of the videos that we see swiping through our phones a lot of the entertainment a lot of movies a lot of the news they are telling you and they are shaping you to believe what they want you to believe as to why one of the reasons i don't watch tv too often right um the word is basic instructions before leaving earth and we don't read the bible most of us don't i'm not gonna speak for you but that's where the instructions come from that's where you know our faith comes from that's where the belief comes from continually reading and listening and praying for understanding right and then not believing that the trials and tribulations that you're going through or where you're supposed to stay. You're supposed to go through them to get to the other side so that you can then help somebody else going through it to let them know that there is light at the end of that tunnel. We were not created to suffer. So while you're staying in a situation, staying in a business, staying in an opportunity that is literally killing you, that's a choice. By not jumping and doing something different because you don't know it or you're uncomfortable or um let me get out this car um that's just it that you're uncomfortable with doing something new guess what when you started that job where you are it was uncomfortable you had to learn that job right you had to learn 
that business. Why stay stuck in something just because you know how to do said job when God has put in you um, a gift? He put in you vision. He put in you a business. And all you're doing is holding on to it. You know how many, how many individuals have died without doing what they're supposed to do? Millions. Gotta go. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. Be intentional about the things that you're doing, what you're saying, what you're thinking. When those negative, bad thoughts come back in to remind you of where you've come from, um, kick them out. You have a choice. You're no longer in, hopefully, you're no longer in those situations. And the memories are just there to try to keep you bound. Don't allow yourself to keep you bound. Peace out. Christine Austin Ill. Put your comments below. Share the video. Hopefully it can bless somebody else. Peace.